I was intrigued, scared, and thrilled at the idea of taking ballet lessons. Margot was intimidating, inspiring, larger than life, even at that time, and that was my first experience with Margot Dean. Early memories is just her dancing, her at the studio, her productions, her students, costumes, music. She was sort of ahead of her time in terms of um, a woman having a career doing your thing outside the home, and she wasn't going to have any part of staying at home all day, all the time with the babies. <laughs> Even her sister once said, when one of us was born, oh, your career has been nipped in the bud. And I thought, well, you, don't, you don't know my mother very well. <laughs> there was a rainbow around Margot. At the end of the table, I just looked at her and went, and who is this? This amazing woman that has started ballet in Fort Worth, because you think 50 years ago, I mean, they were beginning the opera, they were beginning the symphony, they were, and she was starting ballet in Fort Worth and devoted to it. She taught in her home, then she got a studio, but she brought to me, in my opinion, and what I know, she brought ballet to Fort Worth. She created a wonderful climate there of learning and camaraderie and encouragement and I know when I was in uh, junior high there was a time when we really couldn't afford the disposable income for ballet lessons and I came to Margo and I said you know I'm gonna have to stop we can't afford it and she said no way. Anybody that came to the studio and there was a problem with money and they couldn't afford classes she would always work something out. We moved across town and my mother couldn't bring me and she told Margo I was gonna have to quit and Margo said no you, you know I'll give her a scholarship, anything. If you can just get her here, she won't have to pay anything. And she just took care of so many things that your mother normally would take care of. She was just totally supportive and it was family. I became family. No matter where we go, no matter where we are, um, she always runs into somebody who, um, who she has taught dance to. It's pretty amazing when you are with her no matter where you are, that somebody has been impacted by her and comes up and tells her that on, an, on a regular basis. It is really moving to think that someone like that has had such a long-term impact on so many people in this community. Back in 1969, Margot's company was the first ballet program in the state of Texas to go into the public schools. And in fact, in the Fort Worth Independent School District, the first arts program to go in. And since then, we've had the symphony and we've had other ballet institutions and the opera. And it just was kind of the catalyst for like, let's do this. and and her vision to expose all people of all ages and socioeconomic backgrounds to the arts. And we start with the dance art. I do think that's one of Margot's gifts of creating opportunities for people and access for the public. I think her legacy is clearly access. I mean, she uh, believes that everyone, no matter uh, their socioeconomic um, class or whether they're a child or whether they're an adult, she believes they should be exposed to art and, and specifically this form of art which is dance. Margot's humorous side is such a big part of her. She has a fabulous sense of humor. She is not fond of curse words at all, but she will let loose in French if she needs to uh, with some choice phrases. When she has a cast party, she always says, we'll have plenty of cracked ice and celery. <laughs> but we always end up with cheesecake and lots of luscious things. But the first thing is, I need to know how much cracked ice and celery to have on hand. Margot's absolute adherence to high standards and excellence of technique um, instilled in me the importance of no matter what you're doing, in anything that you're doing, strive for excellence and doing it right. She just has this spirit of just taking in anything new, creating anything new, encouraging everyone to follow their dreams, and that's what she's done.